Linear algebra is concerned with linear equations and their representation in vector spaces. So in vector spaces, we perform algebraic operations on vectors, and we do this using matrices, which are basically 2D rectangular arrays, and we'll look at them in more detail as we progress. So here we have a linear equation representing a line, which is written in the implicit form. So we have some function on our left, that's a function of x and y, is equal to some constant on the right. And these constants c1 and c2 are not both 0. So c1 is not 0, or c2 is not 0. So you may recognize this line in the explicit form if we divide through by c2 and subtract c1x from both sides. So what we get is minus c1 on c2, multiplied by x, plus d on c2. So this is basically in the form of y is equal to mx plus a constant being the y-intercept. Now in three dimensions, our linear equation represents a plane where the constants c1, c2 and c3 are also not all zero. And we can see the plane here for a visual. And in general, where we have an arbitrary number of dimensions, we also have these constants not all being zero. And this linear equation is called homogeneous when d is equal to zero on the right hand side. So numerical examples of linear equations may be x plus 3y is equal to 1, or in 3d, 2x plus y plus 1 half by z is equal to 0. And examples of nonlinear equations are x plus root y is equal to 1. So here we have a radical, and x squared plus y is equal to 2, where x squared is a parabolic term. 